All right, guys, we're at Copper Custom this morning. We got the call. We have the big box inside. Let's go inside and see what's in this big box. I got my big box openers. All right, guys, this is our big box, and I'm really excited to cut it open and see what's inside. That's a Gatlin gun. Oh, today's looking pretty good. <laughs> That's cool. That is so cool. This little guy only weighs about 65 pounds, so you can easily carry it by yourself. We stuck this in the back seat of the Jeep, fully assembled, and now we're out at the range. I could go into all the details about what it does and how it works, but none of that matters because I have a freaking 9mm Tipman Gatling gun sitting here in front of me, and all I want to do is shoot it. And the beautiful thing about this is, yes, it does use Glock magazines. So we'll get into the details later. Let's load this thing up and actually uh, do some shooting with it. We got it sighted in. It is adjustable for windage and elevation. Just pop your Glock magazine in like that. And I think I have it sighted in pretty much for that little popper down there. And all you gotta do is start cranking about the fourth click, it'll fire. <laughs> it will burn through some nine millimeter. <laughs> this is entirely too much fun. <laughs> oh guys and no this is not a machine gun you can literally just buy this right off the copper website <laughs> one last happy stick And that's that. <laughs> What's really neat too, guys, is if you like to pick up your brass right over here, you'll have your brass eject. Comes right down this little chute, lands right there. Makes a nice little pile. If you're a reloader, you'll probably have to be one to shoot this a lot. That's gonna be pretty darn handy. Let's load up some more happy sticks and have a good time. Thanks to our friends at Federal who supply ammunition to us here at the channel. We'd like to thank them for doing that. Uh, we are shooting a mixture of the Syntec 124 grain and the 124 grain full metal jacket. If it wasn't for Federal helping us out, we wouldn't be able to bring you all the great content that we do. All right, what we have here, guys, is a no longer available SGM 50 round Glock magazine. Let's see if it works. I hope it does. Seems like it locked in okay. See what happens, here we go, first try. Nope, didn't feed. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Well, I don't know, maybe it will. Let's, let's relieve the tension on the end by a couple of rounds and see if it'll work now. All right, one more try. There we go. <laughs> All right, so fully loaded, it didn't work. Got two rounds out of the mix there. Kind of fits tightly into the magazine well, but it worked. That's pretty darn cool. Unfortunately, I don't think those things are available anymore. I say we're on this time. We're beating the heck out of that little pepper popper. <laughs> I 
Got to wait for it to reset. <laughs> if I turn it slow enough, it'll just keep going pop, pop, pop as that thing starts to come up. It'll never get back up. It'll never get back up. That is so cool. <laughs> Guys, we've put a thousand rounds to this thing already. We brought a couple thousand out and we just don't get tired of shooting this thing. At least I don't. That is freaking cool. You guys can see it just going pop, 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 keeping that pepper at a 45 degree angle. <laughs> oh. And the beautiful thing about a Gatling gun is with the rotating barrels, you don't get the gun overly hot. If we were putting this much ammunition through an AR-15 and 9 millimeter, that barrel would be cooking right now. Not so with the Gatling gun. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's just way too much fun. I could go into the history of the Gatling gun, but I'm not gonna waste your time doing that. Uh, you can Google it. I'm sure by now Ian over at Forgotten Weapons has already done a video or two on the Gatling gun. It's a cool piece of American history, and this basically is the exact same thing as a modern mini gun, except the crank is replaced by an electric motor. Don't get any bright ideas. If you put your Black & Decker on there, you're gonna to go to prison because then it does become a machine gun. Right now, as it is, it's just a firearm. It's not considered a machine gun, and yet it shoots just as fast as you can turn the handle. It is an eight-barreled uh, eight gun, so as you turn the crank, there's a little mechanism inside here. There's no bolt, per se. It's just a series of slots, U-shaped slots, and as you turn the crank, it turns a cylinder inside there. That cylinder catches the rim of the case and the slot pushes the round forward, drops it into a barrel, comes around and it fires this barrel right here by my index finger. The gun is not loaded even though I put a magazine in it and I'm not gonna turn the crank, but that's your firing barrel. So as you can tell, your sights are a little bit off. You do have windage and elevation adjustment. You should, according to the manual, just adjust the rear. And it's just a very simple antique style sight, almost anti-aircraft. You stick your standard Glock magazine in, you have a latch here push it till it latches, and then you just start turning it. You have to get the rounds over to the firing barrel, which is four clicks, and then just keep cranking until you run out of ammunition. <laughs> now what's really cool is you have full t and &E abilities, and that means traversing and elevation. If you guys have been in the military, you know what I'm talking about. Here you turn this screw and this brings your elevation up and down. You can see the gun going up and down. And then you have a lever right here that you can pull up. Pull this little lever up, that releases it, and this is your traversing. See the little gears, the teeth here? You find a spot that you like and you just push this little lever down and it'll lock into one of those little teeth and now it won't go up or down. Now keep in mind, every barrel is slightly different than the other seven. So, you're gonna have, it's not a precision instrument, in other words, this is an, <laughs> an area denial weapon. This thing is, it's, it's the 1800s version of a crew serve weapon. You're basically just volleying lead down at the target, at not a point target, but an area target. So each of the barrels is gonna be a slightly different in terms of where it's gonna impact, and keep in mind your sight is not precisely over the bore. Now we sighted it in at about 20 yards, and that's just so we can have some fun here today. And fun we're having, guys. We've had no issues with it. Let's try an ETS group magazine. These magazines we've never had very good luck with. But let's go ahead and see if it runs in here. Hopefully it runs just fine. Okay, lock it in. Now, nothing came out, but it, you're probably going to have the question, what happens if you get a malfunction? If you get a malfunction, Chances are, simply by backing the bolt up, forward is fire, back is, is reversing the mechanism, and over here, on the other side, you have the ejection chute. So, if a round malfunctions, or if it doesn't fire, if it just, you got a dud round, 
just keep turning the crank. The dead round will fall out into the pile, the one that didn't fire. If you get a malfunction, remove your magazine, back the crank up, and still it'll throw whatever problem round there is out. This thing should cycle just about anything. It's not gas operated, it's not blowback operated, it's crank operated, so that means just about any cheap nine millimeter you can find, you should be able to stick in this thing and it'll work. The only thing you gotta worry about is headspace. So as long as the round isn't too long, you're not gonna have a problem with it uh, jamming up the mechanism. But if you wanna get into the mechanism, the owner's manual is very abbreviated, but basically you take the end cap off and you can take the mechanism out the rear. We're not gonna do that for you right now. It's too time consuming, maybe for another video if you guys like it. All right. Kind of hung up there for a second when I first started firing it. <laughs> and the faster you crank, the faster it fires. Very, very simple mechanism. And the owner man owner's manual is very abbreviated. Basically, don't shoot it while you're drunk. It, says, it actually says, be sober, stick the magazine, and turn the crank. It's truly that simple. There's no place to oil it or anything like that. It has grease already in it, but you'll, you'll want to take it apart and clean it. But um, yeah, very, very cool. All of it is metal. This is two big cast pieces. You can see where the mechanism hinges. This is all metal. This is all metal. The Gatling gun is a mixture of metal and brass. And then the only plastic piece on it is the ejection chute, which seems to be like a, a piece of folded Kydex. Everything else is all 100% metal or brass. Very, very interesting mix of modern and old with the wheels and the old time gun itself. <laughs> I'm absolutely in love with this thing, guys. This, this little bit on here brings it right on. Yep, you can walk fire right in on the target. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we have our enemy soda bottles downrange, and we're going to open fire on them. I'm going to walk my fire across the bottles and try to adjust from the seated position. I'm not going to use my sights. Let's see if I can wipe them all out with one happy stick. Oh, almost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> All right, got got a couple left. <laughs> I think I got them all. <laughs> so you can literally walk your fire. And even though the, the elevation's kind of set, you can see I can torque on it just a little bit. I can definitely lift up and push down and I can actually just walk that fire right back and forth across those bottles. <laughs> That's awesome. Totally awesome. I love this thing. It's a very simple mechanism and the owner's manual is a very simple document. If you have any problems with it, if you're even remotely mechanically inclined, you can take the mechanism apart and resolve it and clean it. It's very, very cool. It's a neat mixture of historical accuracy and modern production. But overall, it's just a ton of fun to shoot. Now, you're probably asking yourself, how much does this thing cost? It costs $4,500 shipped to your FFL from Copper. So you're looking at about a tenth of the cost of what Colt sold them for when they brought back a limited production number of Gatling guns several years back. So they're not inexpensive, but you're getting a whole lot of gun for it and a whole lot of fun, in my opinion. And it's just something you ought to check out. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I am just giddy about it. It's made by Tipman Armory, and you're gonna say, oh, is that the same thing as the Tipman paintball guns? Well, it's in the same family, but it's a different company. Tip, Tipman Armory focuses on historic weapons like this. So yeah, man, this thing is really, really cool. You're gonna see it again here on the channel going forward. Uh, this is a demo unit at Copper, and we're gonna be shooting the snot out of it and see how she holds up. All right, guys, if you'd like to support us here at the Military Arms Channel, the best way to do that is to become a Patreon supporter. There is a link down below. We are not supported by the industry. We're supported by our viewers. So please consider swinging by and checking that out and becoming a Patreon supporter. Also swing by and check out coppercustom.com. And last but not, but not least, check out Twitch. We have a link down below. We are Twitch gamers. If you're a Patreon supporter, send us a note. Tell us what your PSN network handle is. We'll add you as a friend and you can join us in a live stream. All right, guys, let's fire off the last couple of magazines we have 
pack her up and head back home, take it apart and clean it and see how she works on the inside. We'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs> Man, this is just a perma smile, as Jason said. <laughs> we'll see you guys later.